This workflow can take an image and pass it through a reference video. You can apply the action of this reference video directly to this picture. That picture is animated. Of course, his shortcoming is that the facial details are not perfect. So the main function of this is to copy the character movements of the video. There are two workflows here. All models use a from control next as VDV tool. This one here is the one with stable diffusion 1.1. .1. Image to video, add the model. So this effect will be a little more perfect. But I tried. Not much difference. I am currently using the image of the end-to-end -end cloud. Click directly. Now you don't need to deploy or install locally. Click directly to open this workflow of converting pictures to video. You can use. There is no need to deploy and install these nodes. Etc. I mainly use the instructions here. It's not actually a tutorial. I will teach you how to connect this setup. No point. You can download my workflow. I will introduce this specific usage in detail later. If you don't see the latest workflow, there are days. That means the platform has not been updated to the latest version, not the following date. We'll update to the mirror later. You can use it directly online. You don't need to learn how to build and deploy. Just learn while using it. If you want to install locally, deploy this workflow. If you want to open this project, you can click on the address, or this project address, or open my notes. Click on Comfy Tutorial. This picture short video. Control next SVD. Click on it and you will see a detailed project address or model download. There are also screenshots of the basic workflow. There is also a workflow download. There are also video tutorials. Each workflow corresponds to a node. This is the local deployment. OK, now let me introduce how to use it in detail. First of all, this is just the model. If you use this endbrain cloud, use my mirror. Just click it. Just skip the deployment and installation. No need to build. Here are detailed model download and installation nodes. This is a local deployment online use. My workflow is directly. Just run. Then the key point here is actually the number of steps. 25 steps to generate. The effect is slightly better. If it is higher, the effect will be clearer. This determines its quality. I will briefly explain the rest. This is Control Next. That is its own complete set of workflow nodes weight. From the model to this image to the video. Then add this stable diffusion model and combine it. Then use this case sampler to generate. This. Actually, I so don't know. So the default is OK. I am not mainly introducing these parameters here. I am just telling you the main point. This is its default workflow. Then the one below is the image imported and resized. Or reset the size. Then here is to import a reference video. Use this link as well. Combine with this, and then extract this video action through this control next reference. This one is just redefining the size. 
Finally, these two models pass the K-sampler generate. That's it. A replacement effect. It's the same here. The difference is that it does not require the stable diffusion image 2 video model. Directly control next, SVD. That's my own. This is a model. Add K sampler. Just generate it. This is also the key point. In fact, the number of steps. Are steps as normal. Any lower and it's a bit blurry. Then below is a comparison reference. D above generates a single. These are all the same. Resize. Reset the size. Extract his movements. Then get the sampler. Finally generate it. The principle is the same. I won't go into the detail. This is mainly an instruction manual. You can use it directly. This will save you some troubles in deployment and installation. Just learn while using it. All workflows are suitable for designers. They are all very practical. As for this face, if you want to adjust, it doesn't fit this workflow. This workflow is mainly to extract the overall action of the character. He used this row. If you want to extract the action of this character, again, reference copy passed. So what you use, yes, you have a workflow here. Expression control. Generate this live portrait. He can just copy the expression again. You can add an oil. Let's refer to another face. Just replace him. Just connect this node to the back. He can achieve accurate expression replacement. So these two combined, it is a whole body movement control. One is to control the head expression, or control of details, or set it manually. But this doesn't mean much, it is too complicated. Manual setting is just a simple action. Set the end frame. Okay, let's go play.